Hello everybody and it is another week of a garden tour. Um, it's late in the evening, about six o'clock. Look at this. We bought these mats for the porch for this, this chair. And uh, oh, he hates being on camera. Oh, he wants loving. That's his new bed. So he's down now. Um, right there. Uh, he he's gonna follow me around the garden. He wants attention. The reason why I do garden tours once a week is mainly for me because that way I can see some progress from one week to the next. And it's not that I'm frustrated with my garden it's just I've had some deaths this week there's been things that have died and I don't know why I think it was just the plants that I bought because I this most of my strawberry plants that I had just recently bought all died I was just like what so or most of them died so they just didn't take to the transplant transplanting so we're going to go ahead and we're going to start in the vegetable garden i did harvest all the bags of uh, potatoes and i got a really good a bunch of bunch of potatoes and i'm going to be replanting a lot of those i am going to have to start spraying for set spraying because i can see a lot of bugs <sighs> on my plants so I'm just gonna um I'm using seven and the reason why I'm doing this now is because I see that one of my bush beans the one of the leaves is just completely eaten through so I'm just gonna do this real quick and then I'm gonna take you on a garden tour okay sorry about that so hmm where to start we'll start right here so these are my German green tomatoes. Now they may not get any bigger. I don't know if I'm gonna have any. I think I planted them a little too late. You never know. But they're doing pretty good. The snapdragon is still growing. This bed. Um, these beans are doing good. This is what I had to spray down. These beans are doing great. As you can see, I have more of my marigolds going. That's a carrot. I think I'm only gonna have one carrot all year. But you know what, this is my first year doing this. So I will take every wind that I can get. I'm learning is the big thing. This is supposed to be a chamomile. I'm not sure if it is or not. We're just letting it grow though. I think it is. Then all my tomatoes, um, they actually have little flowers on them. Now what I found with my tomatoes with them curling, they, they don't have any bugs on them, like any caterpillars or anything. It's, it's the older leaves trying to protect itself from the sun. So I'm going to get my um, screen that I have that I placed over all of my beds when my cat was digging in it that would, you know, stop him from digging in it. And I'm gonna actually drape it over this and it's gonna protect it a little bit from the sun. Now, on one of my groups, somebody stated that, oh, it's gotten hot, we're not gonna get any more tomatoes. And I talked to my dad about it because I was like, my granddad had two acres of full-on vegetable farms. And I'm like, he was growing tomatoes all the way up until August or September, and it was 100 degrees out and sunny. And he's like, yeah, he goes, just drape something over it to keep it from getting direct sun. He goes, he didn't have to do that, but, you know, you might want to do that the first couple of years of your gardening. But, yes, even he said, even though it's hot, you can still produce tomatoes. So, I'm going off of my life experience with my, my grandfather. And, uh, so he had tomatoes all the way up until August or even September October we had them all the time um, these are my beans and they are this bean has actually taken off it's gotten big um, I think the blood mill is actually starting to work on some of this there is a lot of a lot of my beds with this potty mix that was supposed to be great for raised beds got great reviews obviously this year's bags had a lot of less nitrogen in them so i've been having to fertilize and bring stuff up and so i've had also 
with the amount of rain that we've had and the fact that it stayed so cool for so long our, um, our Texas A&M ag people are saying yeah the crops are, are gonna be a little bit smaller Ooh, there's a bee. Um, this is a sunflower it's just living its life I planted more potatoes in here and I don't see them sprouting but it usually takes a week or two these are more of my pole beans um, as you can see look at that and I've gotten a few off and I've actually cooked a few with my green beans and they've been fine um, so this one's completely dead so I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out uh, my broccoli I mean see so I also sprayed this one with seven but they're doing great hello well hello there missy um this is kale I believe yes kale and it's grown quite a bit oh no 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 you do not get in there no um she just wanted to be a part of the video and it's grown quite a bit then my cucumbers that I planted back here and along here they're growing and they're getting flowers on them these cucumbers that I bought it's kind of like is it going to make it is it not we're not sure yet but these squash are doing really really well whereas those squash have all died off my marigolds uh, they're about to start budding again all of this is uh, um, watermelons and then my pumpkins and everything's doing good matter of fact my pumpkins are about to start having flowers so and there's been bees flying around which are awesome bee bomb is doing great now this is something that I bought flowers I bought last weekend um, and it was from the master gardeners these flowers are doing good this petunia is doing good that petunia I think is gonna die this petunia has gone a a wall it's missing I don't know what's going on I was actually concerned about these petunias in the state that they were in planting them but they told me to go ahead and do it so I did it and yeah um, not disappointed just life learning experiences now this is the bit I want to talk about oh hang on hey get what is up with this corner go <sighs> it's not him it's her so this this is the bed I want to talk about there are certain some that are hanging on um, I've pulled some up I've left that one and that one to show you but see as you can see they just died I kept them watered everything was fine they just died that's actually a carrot we might have two carrots one for James and one for me hey that's a win but yeah these strawberries lesson learned I'm not gonna buy strawberries from Ace Hardware <laughs> or those particular types of strawberries they just didn't take this is the zucchini though that I bought and <laughs> if you notice they're doing really good but look at that the bustard blooming buds it's exciting what are you doing? Mama. They're about to start playing and I'm praying that it is not in a vegetable garden. Oh. You two, oh, see, here it goes. <sighs> Swear, it's like kids. She's like over there now. So this is my jalapeno bed. It's not that big. My other jalapeno bushes. I can't find any of them around here. The sunflowers that I bought, none of them are growing anymore. But I've got jalapenos growing. So I'm extremely excited about that. Absolutely excited. And those aren't the only two. I see like three more on that one and one on this one. But hopefully, I get a lot of jalapenos because I like making jalapeno jelly. All right.
right, the gladiolas. Look at this. It's this one, this one, there's one here, got one here. This pot is about to explode with gladiolas. And then this. So this is the thing that I wanted to really show you that I think it's trying, it's trying to get a seed um, that has really exploded. And that is this basil has gotten so huge. Look at it. And I came out and it was it was it's actually been trying to seed because it's been so hot. So I've been trying to knock the seeds off as much as possible. Um, but man, it's, it's the lemon. It's this is the lemon basil, and it smells so good. My chives are doing great. My rosemary's doing great. My Genevieve basil is still little and still growing. This is the other serious death that I had that I don't know why. Um, yeah, and this is the oregano that I bought and planted and it's just, it's just not making it. I've had problems in this area and I, I don't think the cats have been using it anymore, like using the bathroom or anything and I cleaned it up, but you never know. They may be and that's what's killing it all. All right, now, I came out yesterday to this. My mint, it all died. But I had new growth, so I went ahead and cut it back for the new growth. And then my strawberries. I've actually got strawberries going. I'm excited about that. Over here, these garlics, I'm probably going to be doing either this weekend or later on that next week. Those are the zinnias that I planted, zinnia seeds that I planted for my mom and dad. And... I'm looking to see if they germinate. I need to set them out in the sun because they haven't germinated yet and they should have. All right. So I have been deadheading my cosmos. It says, you know, you can do it. You don't have to. But I have been deadheading trying to get more cosmos to produce. And as my beautiful snapdragons start to die off, they'll, they'll wilt up. The whole plant will wilt up. I go ahead and pull it out. But I've got these and then you see the white ones over there uh, and white and yellow absolutely gorgeous um remember i plant snapdragons along this area and that area they have not germinated yet which is fine it's not supposed to be for like another week um my roses rose bush i had a bunch of them pop up this week and they've already died off i've deadheaded them but they're doing good and look at that it's about time that I'm going to start winding it through this fence. Um, we have some beautiful zinnias. And then back over there, if you can see that, that's going to be cosmoses that has germinated. And here we have more zinnias that have germinated. And as you can see right there, that is um, dead snapdragons. So it's, it's looking great. The ivy's doing great. The begonias are doing good. And aloe vera's doing good. This, I don't know what these are. I think this is just a weed. I'm just letting it grow to see what's gonna pop up because this is the one that I had all the chrysanthemums in that um, it just got so wet. I think they all died off. We replanted this, and that's doing good. This is Trinella's, uh, pot. I've got nothing popping up in there. And I had some stuff popping up in there until we had the great rainstorm a few weeks ago, and now nothing's going on. And then, I planted zinnias in here, and as you can see, they are popping up all over the place. It looks good. They, there was nothing in here yesterday, actually. So over here, this hoss is doing good. See that leaf right there? That was part of a calendium. Calendium, I think, was popping up. And James, when he was fixing the things, he stepped right on it. So I don't know if it's going to regrow or not, or what's going on with it. Um, 
these guys I really need to actually cut this stuff off I'm gonna do that um, I've got like wasp and everything else um, but there is buds coming where it's about to start budding again so there he is I haven't watered my garden yet look at this this just started zinnias and look at all the calla lilies oh my goodness I've been coming out and cutting the ones that are going to the ground which means I gotta cut some more raspberry plant doing good cosmos I'm gonna cut this long branch off this weekend found that you could do it blackberry bush is doing good so as I said that is my garden tour it's kind of spliced up over two days I filmed one yesterday and then I didn't like some of the filming I did and I completely forgot about one bed so if you enjoyed it, this video give me a thumbs up and I'll see you soon